Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Focal Board and this will be running within Docker and not within Linux. Uh, again if you don't want to use Docker and stuff like that Focal Board have a way that you can install as well just um, on their front page here there's you know you can just download Focal Board here and then if it's for your personal desktop they have like an app store and stuff like that as well but in this video again I'm just going to show you how to install it on Docker. So just quickly what Focal Board is it's a really cool personal um, board manager uh, whatever you want to kind of call them just like a task manager I guess just being able to as you can see here from what's playing on the screen at the moment is it's just a nice way to organize what you're doing right and it's an open source alternative to um, the other popular solutions such as like Trello boards um, and you know Microsoft DevOps have boards you know uh, Adolescent have a whole bunch of them uh, so yeah this is just like a nice open source alternative you can use uh, for your personal stuff or even maybe a small team as well uh, it doesn't have to just be your stuff so kind of enough talking um, there's I'll show you more once we actually get this deployed but what we're going to do is install this via docker so let's get into it so under downloads on their website here if we click here you can see we want to install a personal server so docker and you can see they actually just give you a single line command but with me i like to use everything via a docker compose file so i can keep track of uh, you know my installs and easily redeploy it without having to find the website again and figure out you know what were the ports it needed and stuff like that so um I've already got a docker compose file with set up, I'll have that in the description, but uh, we'll flip to that now. So here we're in my uh, Windows subsystem for Linux, and this is and I, which has docker installed. Now if you are wanting to figure out how to get docker installed on Windows and stuff like that, I have a link uh, in the corner there uh, for you to follow along with. So once you've got docker all set up on your system, all we need to do is set up our docker compose file. So let's jump in there and have a look. So it's quite simple, we can see that we just got the one service which is focal boards. Uh, we've got the port map, so we're going to be running this on port 80, it's mapped to port 8000 on the container. And we're just using their image uh, that's on docker hub. So pretty straightforward right? So if we just do control O to save it, control X, cool, we're all sorted. So now we want to deploy this right? So all we need to do is just do a sudo docker compose up hyphen D. So what this is doing is it's saying hey look there's a docker compose file in this directory, everything in it please stand up and run it in detached mode which means that you know it's running the docker container will be running in the background and doing its thing, I can close the session and the container will still stay up and running. So all we need to do is hit enter, it's going to create our container, done. Now let's just make sure our container is actually running. And the main one we care about is we can see our focal board is up and running. Uh, I had another one I was just testing with before, but again, we can see that our focal board that we care about is up. So what this means is really we should be able to connect to our local IP address of our machine running Docker and running um, that's running focal board. So let's just connect to our local IP and see what happens. So let's go to my local IP and see what we get. 127.0.0.1 enter sometimes uh, i've had this where when you first connect it says error no workspace i just hit and log in again and then it takes me to the page um so you should be fine so let's just scroll in so you can see and now all you need to do is create an account so down the bottom here we'll click create enter in your email address username and password uh, and once you've done that hit register so i'll quickly do that i've just made some basic information here just because just for the demo so i'm just going to hit register so i've just entered in my temporary details uh, that I quickly made and I hit login. Cool, so we're all logged in now and now we have a blank empty board. Let me make this full screen so it's a bit easier to see. So we are all logged in and now you, you just get given a simple blank board and what you want to do is click add board and now you've got a little thing on the left here so you know are you going to do meeting notes is it some goals you want to do personal tasks or if there's a road map to maybe a project you're working on um, let's say we want to create a roadmap here you can see you know all the things we want to start getting set up and so I've made a couple of tasks as you can see here we've set up the front end um, and now we you know we've just got a couple of tasks here um, and that's pretty much it so there's a whole bunch of boards you can do so uh, let's say personal tasks so we've got another board here now and on the personal tasks you know it's more of your typical Kanban um, where you can have you know add some correct tasks get coffee all right so again just added get coffee added a few tasks you just hit refresh away they come up so that's pretty much it that's pretty much all there is to really demo about focal board it's a pretty simple straightforward way of creating kanban sort of boards 
um so i hope you learned something and i hope you found another cool little open source uh tool that you can add to your list of services that you run um so yeah thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video cheers bye